Oh, good day, good day, good day, good day. We're out today, uh, beautiful friggin' uh, Long Point Bay again. Me and SR, SRTB Magnums. SRBT? SRBT, right? SRTB. SRTB. I always fuck that up. Anyways, there's fucking bugs everywhere. Look at them. Look at all these little pricks on me. But uh, yeah, we're doing some fashion. So we'll see what the day brings. Alright, well, it's 8 30. We ain't caught a fucking thing yet. Seen a couple. Seen a couple. But uh, we're not on them. But I just want to share something with you guys. Yeah, it's a good, nice seawall right here, right? Beauty, lag bolts, looking straight and stuff. Look at this. Look at this. This is the difference, ladies and gentlemen, between paying the professionals, professional job, professional, not so professional. Steel, vinyl siding. Right? I'll get a better shot when we go back out at how cattywampus and bowed out that really is. It's pretty decked. Did you catch a fish yet? No. There, boys. Look at the bulge. Look at the bulge. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'll show you what one's supposed to look like. And here you see how one is supposed to look when done correctly. By a professional. So don't cheap out and do it yourself because it'll look like shit. Oh, it looks like somebody's doing a little target practice down at the lake here. Probably straight there. Right from that table, I betcha. Right from that table. Son of a bitch. Pro tip, don't leave your iPhone just laying out in the sun, especially when it's black. Probably not good for it. Spent another two hours. Still ain't caught a damn fish. Sean broke, yeah, I haven't caught none. Fish are broke. Maybe it's my pole, I don't know. Fish are broke. Well, they need to put a sign a little earlier on that corner, wouldn't you think? That's kind of hard to see. That's, uh, if you're not familiar with the area, and you're local to this place, uh, put a new sign up, would you please? I just about ate dash, that ought to be good footage. <laughs> that ought to be real good footage right there. Yeah, she slowed down pretty quick. Oh, you sure did? Oh, frig, we have a major situation. What? Cigarettes are missing. Uh-oh. Yep. What did you do with them? I don't know, I'll find them. Another good seawall right there, home done. This, that one's pretty good. Got their own launch. Oh, it's in a sub-enclosure for 3 8 Look at that, it's a Styrofoam 3 8 sub-enclosure. We gotta get that on the way back. I need that for a door. Oh, look at that, yeah. Something tells me we're not getting up there, though. Look at that, what, about 60? <laughs> Shut her down and trim her up at the last second, just hopefully fly in. Holy, settle down. I don't know if you guys can see the bottom. Maybe if I go this way. Maybe not. Maybe not. Anyways. We're gonna go find the end of this and then come back and fish through it. And probably catch nothing. Right, buddy? Probably. <laughs> probably. I don't know. I'm just hoping that the kids' tackle box is on here still so there's some small hooks and stuff so I can catch a sunfish later, maybe. Or something. Oh, I don't get skunked. Sean's been catching all the fish. He always does, bastard. I think you gotta run the boat this time, coming this way, in reverse with the troll motor, so the ass end goes first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're never gonna believe this. Totally, if we had a film crew, this would be awesome. I got a witness and everything right there. The captain of the boat seen the whole thing, didn't you? Yep. The whole thing. I had a frog, his name was George, right? A leopard frog. I'll show you later when we got this son of a bitch. We got him. I freaking got him. Broke me off, right? Just took George away from me. I was pretty upset, right? So I tie Frank on. He's a little bit bigger, different color. Fire Frank out there. Boom! Explosion on the water. Frank gone. We go over there. I throw, my, I throw the spinnerbait on. That's the spinnerbait right there. Fire that a bunch of times. 
with a steel leader this time because I didn't want to like not go without a rubber the next time, right? Because I lost two frogs. I don't want to lose more stuff, right? So we fished not even what? With 20 casts, 30 casts we got him? Yeah. If that. For, unbelievable. He's in the live well. I'll show you now. I'm not going to like, you know, stab him and cut him open, but my frogs are in there. So uh, you can totally feel him and see the skirts, but he's in there. Nice bass in there too. There he is right there. Put your in there. No, it's cold. There he is right there. He ate George and Frank. Frog murder. Yep. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. He's really mad. <laughs> really mad. I can't believe we got him, man. What are the odds, eh? What are the odds? That's a good one right there. You caught that fish three times. Three times I caught that guy. Finally, you're in the live well. Now you're going to the Crisco live well when we get home. Big time. Well, after saving uh, Frank and George, fishing a little bit more, we're out of here off to the, the next locations and uh, we'll rescue some more lures, maybe. Hopefully not, though. That was one in a million, boys. Never happened again. Amazing. Here we go. Walter. It's one of them friggin' rare gray sand crane thingies, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, we're here. Oh, look in there. Prime territory right there. Troll motor up. Let's do this. Sack's out. Get your sack out. There's Harold. He's the newest addition to the team. Poor friggin' Frank and George are still in the belly of that asshole pike. But I got him, freaking got him, three times. I'm gonna talk about it for the rest of the movie too. <laughs> All right, well we just fished this channel system, totally dicked. Got told we couldn't fish in the channel. This is totally bullshit. But uh, anyways, we're going this way now, and then over that way, and uh, maybe we'll catch something over there, maybe. Probably, did I ever tell you guys about the time that I uh, lost two frogs to one pike, and then I, I, I caught that pike and got my two frogs back. Two story. <laughs> I'm like that, we're out of here. Give you guys the wind effect. Sandwich time. Paninis from Metro. Can you say panini? Mmm. Panini. I'm gonna see you get one on a top water alrata. Alrata on top water. Yep. Look at those things. Look at those hooks. Oh my shit, that would hurt. I don't know what that pike was thinking. He had to poop those out when he ate them. Yeah. They're not too bright. Definitely wasn't as bright as You think that would kill a fish if we didn't re-catch them? I think you could poop it out. I don't know, man. Those hooks are pretty big. I, I've caught fish with hooks hanging out their bum hole. No shit. 
Well, there you have it. <laughs> Fish had totally just shipped that out. Right out his ass. It's way too hot out here. We're going to go for a rip across the bay, get the truck, go to the cottage. Different things, you know. Maybe do some surgery on a pike and get my get friggin' Frank and George back. I gotta get Frank and George back from that time. That time that I caught that fish that took all my hooks and stuff. So, but I caught him again and got him back. Fucking hate losing hooks. You guys do this. Are we doing this? Okay, there he is. I'm gonna do a little surgery here, pass the camera off. See if I can cut my fucking arm off here. Now, what do you think? Just go up his ass? Yeah. Just cut him right like this? Yeah. Right up his pooper. Oh, I missed the pooper, it's here. Frank! Don't touch frogs. I'm trying not to. Don't touch frogs. Where, where are they? I think they're in here. They're in the belly. Yeah, right there. <laughs> oh, there he is. There's George. <laughs> There's George. There's Frank. <laughs> Can't believe I got him back. Somebody's calling me. What's really going on? Well, boys, that's how you get your frogs back. I, I cannot believe still that that was in there. I got it on tape to prove it. <laughs> that is fucking awesome. I'm gonna hand the uh, I'm gonna hand the uh, the knife and the cutting to get the meats part over to Sean. He's a lot better at it than I am. I'm only good at getting my uh, getting my frogs back. Can't believe that, but I caught the same fish that ate my frogs twice. Oh, back strips, eh? Nice little hunk of meat right there. Nice little hunk of meat right there. You can take this side off. You can, but you don't, right? I don't. You just cut it down here. Yeah. Then you fly it like a regular fish. Oh yeah. Tastes like shit. Tastes like shit. Don't eat this kind. Just get a couple chunks off the back. This will make a nice little shore lunch, boys. Anyways, we're not going to show you too much more of this part, but uh, I'm just stoked to got my frogs back. That's $24 plus tax for frig's sakes. <laughs> I need those. Unbelievable. Yep. He sure was hungry, that guy. Sure like the frogs. All the wildlife. Still twitching. The wildlife, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you're squirting me. Frogs pissing all over my camera and my leg. Look at this. Look at these winged guys against the orange guys. <laughs> that little thing in the middle of the screen, that's a piece of my sandwich. Yeah, we're not fighting over that though. That's quite the quite the infestations. I don't know. I don't know. What's really going on here? What do you got? Oh, it's Spartan and stuff. All right, the catch a pike with no leader. I've seen a bunch of babies in here. Look at the action on that thing. Would you just look at the action? The sunfish like it. Oh, they love it. They love it. Watch, watch. Do, do. Just grab an antler. Camera don't show the sunfish. <laughs> Too much glare. Yeah, so we're just waiting for a little storm to pass. A little storm to pass. Just a small one. Then we're going to head back out and see what we can come up with. 
and hopefully not get snapped off by the same fish twice and then have to catch them again and cut them open and take all the stuff. Mm -hmm. You guys remember that time I told you that story about the time I lost two frogs and then used a spinnerbait and caught a pike and totally friggin' got my frogs back? Remember that time? Look at all the seagull shit on that post. That must be one seagull's like favorite place. Cause like look at down at this one. And there's a little bit of shit on it. The next one, there's like no shit on it. But this one, this one's covered in shit. The one right across from it too. Yeah, and the red one, that red one's not. That's right across from it. It's covered in shit. That must be the point of no no return or something like that. Maybe. Clearly the bathroom place. Anyways, we're just out here tossing some frogs, spinner baits, and different things. We got Frank here back on deck. Frank's ready to go. He's back. Back in action after that time where I lost him after going after George. And yeah, then I used that to get him back. So that spinner bait saved me twenty-four dollars. So that's that's pretty good spinner bait right there. Canadian Tire, nine bucks or something like that. Yellow package, red lettering. You might want to get one of those. It's good for getting your frogs back. Yeah. A little bit of an animal fight going on here. This goose right there, the white one, is pissed. He doesn't like these Canadian geese. The other ones, that kind. And all those fuckers over there. You don't like them <laughs> at all. Look at him. Look at him. He oh, is oh. fuck. Hey, man. Oh. What's really going on over here? Eh? Get back on your dirt. You're fucking puffing himself this, up. Yeah, this water's private property. <laughs> he is fucking angry. I should go fight him. Oh, he's mad. Go, yeah, let's go get him. I should go fight him. Let's go fight him. See if he'll fucking attack you. Oh, That'll make a great movie, sure. man, if you get attacked by a swan. For sure. Oh, he there's will. a seagull right. Oh, the goose just jumped right in and was like, let's do this. I'm ready. I'll take you. Wait a minute. You're huge. The wildlife, ladies and gentlemen. The wildlife. I don't know, I think that that swan goose thing would be like severely outnumbered if the yeah, geese would just fucking band together and kick its ass. <laughs> You like, just need that one, that one guy, that yeah. goose. It's just like, says, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting it. Look at this one, he's like, no way, no thanks. Oh, I got, your frog misted me. Misted Carlos Juan Jose on a stick <laughs> fucking misted me. Oh man, this is gonna be epic. Look at him, he's oh, mad. He's mad. I think he's mad at us. No, because he ain't charging us yet. yet. <laughs> that might have been a hey. Look at how big my tail is. You might not want to come over here. We encroach a late on us. Well, you're fairly I'm close. It. Oh gosh. Careful, Juan Carlos. That swan is like, mmm, I like frogs. <laughs> you know? Frogs are okay. Top water swan fishing. Top water swanning. Just, if you're just joining us, we're topwater swan fishing here on friggin' uh, Port Rowan, uh, well, not really, but Long Point Bay, Inner Bay, Marina Shores area. We are totally, uh, whoops, I'm in the way as camera guy up front. Alright, I think the, the hot swan action's over. So. They settled it. It's, it's settled. This is their turf, that's his turf. They don't get to go in the water, <laughs> and everything's good. I think it's like the white bird, black bird, I don't know what's really going on. Alright, Frank here's totally not cutting it. He's, I don't know, he's swimming like he's drunk and stuff. So, um, this is Stuart, and he's little, he's only the size of my finger. His name is Stuart and he's little. Nice little guy, but I'm going to throw him on there and see what's really going on. Got a guy coming in the experimental do not use zone. He's small enough, he should make it. Oh, he's checking it out. Oh, you gotta commit. You gotta keep commit, bud. Oh, stop, real fast, stop, real fast. Yeah, oh. totally made it. 
totally made it. Catch a fish, man. Try. Thought that's what you do. No wake, please. Okay. I think that's a fucking muffler. A muffler? Like a flow mat. Well, I got a freaking zoomer in her here. Uh, I don't know, it kind of looks like a muffler. It's aluminum. Yeah, if it's a muffler, it's got the platinums in it. <laughs> we need that. Bad go. She did not like that. It didn't hit bottom though. I don't think. The joys of boating in Long Point Bay, everybody. Fucking everything. It is short and thick. Oh, wildlife, ladies and gentlemen. The wildlife again. That's maybe a little too much of a J-hook there to come through. <laughs> yeah, I probably. Need, need about fucking 100 more oars. We haven't done this channel yet, straight ahead. Oh, fuck. Well, as you can see behind me there, the sun's setting. The birds are chirping, they're on the cigarettes. Biting. Birds are on the Look at them. Look at them. They get right pissed when a bird that doesn't look like them lands there. Like right past. All right, so Frank, he's a dark color. It's dark out. Frank's not working no more. We're gonna get George back out. As before, I don't know if you guys have ever heard the story about how these two disappeared into a fish, and then <laughs> I used a spinner bait that I, you know, is now worth forty bucks, and got him back. Right? I don't know if you ever, if I ever told you that story, maybe. All right, boys. Well, lately Boogie's been a big fan of the liquor and the liquor products from the LCBO. I don't drink much, but. Uh, Look at Sean got a great big bag. Oh my goodness. But I picked up a can of this. If I can get it out, it was uh let's see here, how much was this? How much was this bad boy? Nice camera work. There we go, two dollars and ninety-five cents. Right? Ten cent deposit for frig's sakes. I'll never get that back. So I'll smelt it. So anyways, I picked up some Bacardi. Superior and cola. Not superior, whatever. 7% rum beverage. Not a big fan of the rum, but I'll try anything once. Alright, so first impressions are a little sniff. It smells like rum. I'm not a fan of rum. It tastes like rum, but not bad. Not bad. It's a quality drink right there, boys. I'll let you know how it uh, how it sits. Well, boys, not a bad drink. Not a bad drink at all. I don't know if I'd want to drink a bunch of them, but uh, pick one up. There you go. Not not about not too bad. Not too bad. But it's freaking bread time. And then we're gonna go get them tomorrow. Right, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Bacardi drinks fucking gross. Like five o'clock in the morning. I had one drink. Five o'clock in the morning. I thought it was bad pickles, but no, no. It's like alcohol, horse shit in my stomach that didn't want to be there. Fuck rum. That shit's gross. Well, it was a pretty good weekend, you know. Uh, today's, uh, well, it wasn't even a weekend. It was during the week, for freak's sakes. But today's uh, Wednesday, the 7th. Part 4 of my last movie series goes live there. Now you guys can see me. It goes live today. I don't have my sunglasses. Pretty good cigarette. But it's windier as hell, the, the lakeside is just friggin' roaring, and uh, 
you know, we don't really want to go out fishing again today because it's pretty shitty out. So, wow, where is my face? There I am. So, yeah, did I ever tell you guys the story about the time I uh, lost two frogs in a pike's belly and then got it back with a spinnerbait? Don't forget to check out all the links in the description, Facebook fan page, all that stuff. Give it a bunch of likes. Maybe I can get Pug once a thousand of you like it to give out a friggin' uh, a bunch of decals and stuff or something. Some boogie swag maybe if we can get a thousand likes on it. But uh, all the links are down in the description. Check them out. Make sure you go to SRTB Bagnum's page. Check him out. Yeah, and like I said, Akalugi one out.